Welcome back to another episode of Pixelmon from the Pixelmon Let's Go server. I'm about to catch Ethos favorite Pokemon. Ethos says that this guy is the best Pokemon in the game. He, oh, look, there's two of them, too. Um, he's his favorite. Wow, it uh, sure can fly. And uh, I'm going to, oh, the, uh, that one's flying, too. And I'm going to catch it. And he's going to be super jealous because I have one, too, because he loves this Pokemon because it's his favorite. Right, Etho? Right? This is your favorite Pokemon? Um, I've been hanging out here in the in the jungle. I have not uh, seen a, uh, or not seen, but even had the announcement come up that a, a Mew has spawned. I'm being patient. I'm gonna hang around a little bit longer. You know, I should have brought like some sort of a different, different set of balls. <laughs> um, let me just use a regular Pokeball for the for Etho's favorite Pokemon. Might as well. I don't think he's very picky. I mean, it is Etho's favorite. So, perfect. I'm back home. Currently crafting up some balls. Let me just show you what I caught in the jungle. Just no particular reason. Of course, you got Etho's favorite, uh, Tropius. I bought, uh, or I bought, I caught a Slackoth. Hopefully I'm pronouncing that right. Uh, but this guy's pretty cool just because he's adorable. <laughs> the Pokemon can't attack on consecutive turns. Whoa. So the opposing Pokemon, I assume. So like, so he has to use a status attack after the first attack? That seems pretty good if I'm understanding this correctly. I might not be though. He's just a normal type though, so it's not that great. Um, stats, 20 defense, 10 special defense. His speed is pretty slow, obviously, for a sloth. Uh, but his defense, he seems like a pretty uh, pretty good guy. He's he's a pretty relaxed kind of guy. Uh, next, I caught, of course, the trout. We won't, we won't even look at this because all stats are amazing stats for him. Um, the ca the Cacleon? Kecleon. Kecleon? Yeah. So this guy caught my eye because he looked kind of cool. Also a normal type. Pokemon's type becomes the type of the move used on it. Oh, that's interesting. Huh, that's actually pretty interesting. Okay, so it's got Thief, Ancient Power, Camouflage, and Shadow Claw right now. That's actually a sweet, sweet move. Look at that. Camouflage used to have his change depending on its environment. That makes sense for a chameleon-looking thing. It's a brave nature. His speed is terrible. His attack is 95. Special Defense, 103. So, I don't know. It might be a good Pokemon to use. This guy I caught because he's massive. Like, huge. And it's an ordinary growth? Are you kidding me? This guy... Hold on. Let me, let me show you this guy. Massive, massive dude. Look at his head. Hi, how you doing? That's an ordinary growth? That seems ridiculous. Anyway, maybe I'll, I won't keep him then. Because I thought he was a giant guy. And that's the only reason I caught him. Um, I also caught this guy. Halucha. Hall Hall Halucha, I'm going to go with. Because he looks like a luchador. So Halucha is his name. Fighting and flying. It's not his name, but it's his species. Boost the speed stat. If it's held item, is used or lost. So that's going to be not that great. Uh, he's got kar Karate Chop, Home Claws, Tackle and Detect. And his stats, he's got a boosted, a mild nature, huge growth, special attack, 59 defense, 60, or sorry, 45, 68 attack, 81 speed. He seems like a pretty fast Mon. But anyway, that's what I caught in the jungle. And now it's time to make a very important trade. Okay, Tilted, uh, show me what you got. You want the shiny magic card, correct? Show you what I got. Let, I literally let, yeah. just said that. Hey. Okay, hold on, hold on. Let me just show you how, <laughs> how incredible this guy looks. Like, he is, he is Grace. He is, oh, it's so laggy here. After this, I'm going to go around and I'm going to take down every single apricot tree there is. Look at, look at how beautiful. <laughs> uh, <laughs> he's beautiful. He's majestic. He's, he's graceful. So, Beef, what moves does he know? Well, uh, Sten, his moves are Splash and Tackle. Very effective <gasps> Tackle, and Splash is also wow. extremely... Look at there's a shiny uh, centered here. This is the shiny corner, apparently. This is so laggy. I want to get out of here. Can we go... Uh, <laughs> yeah. Let's we go over go here. Place. Oh, in the shulker box. No, who's building that, by the way? <laughs> Nebs. I yeah, I didn't know. Horrible looking, there. Nebs. Horrible. <laughs> I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna mince it fits words. Fits in so well with the theme. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Right. Okay. <laughs> now let's 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 check him out again. Look at. <laughs> Come on. How uh, could you not? So Is that a shiny meowth to too? Shiny meowth? Where? Shiny centric. Oh, what? That's not a shiny loudred, is it? Yeah, it is. What is different about him? He looks exactly it, the same. It looks like uh, a brighter version. It's pink instead of purple. I mean, is the regular one purple? Okay. 
Well, none of them compare to this beauty. <laughs> I kind of like the meow. Now that I'm seeing it. Oh really? You don't want a shiny I mean, magic carp? Do you know how incredible this thing looks? I mean, I do want the, the, the red Gyarados, but that Rapidash though. I know that Rapidash <laughs> is beautiful. It's level a hundred like too. He'll never. No, there's no way 100. he's trading that. Yeah, that's honestly deep. Rapidash and Bobby. They look so good. Yeah, they look good together, right? It would be a good team. Okay, let's go trade. Where Do you have a trading machine in your shop or your house? Let's go to your house because I don't uh, want to go yeah. back to spawn until we get rid of these apricorns. <laughs> this is getting ridiculous. I hope so that, that fixes Pokemon it, here. honestly, because, wow, it's, wow. It's bad. Yeah, I think that's what it is. I'm pretty sure that's what it is. Oh, yeah, that's right. Ready? Tilted's path of never exiting. Aha. Uh -huh. Okay. Wait, okay. what? What did you I <laughs> I kept going all the way up and all the way down. It was really confusing. Okay. Okay. Um, Stan, if you were me, which one Wait, would you which pick? One? Okay, you have the option of Scorupi. Scorupi or the Nita King. Yeah, Nita King. Uh, let me, let me, give me, give me Scorupi. Let me give me a little look what Drapion looks like when it's like all. This guy looks pretty. Up. I like the Scorupi in red, but I already have like a red Gyarados. I'm feeling like the Nita King would be a good. You can addition. have the red team. Yeah, I guess that's but true. But the Drapion, the Drapion, yeah, is mm -hmm. like not that different from the actual Drapion. Oh, the really? The Drapion is purple and ish, and then the other one is like reddish with pink. It's, eh, eh, eh. Hmm. Eh. I would go for the Nido King probably. Do you think so? Also, Nido King is quite beasty in itself. Nido King, what type is that? Poison uh, and ground. It's poison, yeah, poison and ground. Okay, it, you know it what? It has Pokevirus on it. Oh, good. Well, I have all of my Pokemon have it. Oh, um, I want okay. Pokevirus. Can we, can we fight? Happiness, one hundred and fifty-three. I, I think if you trade with me, there is an option. I'll trade you something for one of your shinies. <laughs> uh huh. <laughs> I'll give oh, it back. I promise. Your shiny Gyarados, eh? <laughs> <laughs> uh, do you want the shiny Gyarados? I I do like a shiny Gyarados. I'm not trading. I really want that uh, Rapidash. <laughs> I know you do. I yeah, still do like. Yeah, no, okay, uh, yeah. let's do it. Magic Which Carp. One do you want? Need a king. Need a king. We're doing okay, the need a king. I actually thought you'd pick the Scorupi. Nope. Need a king. I mean, I like the Scorupi like it is wait, right wait, now, wait. but it has I don't an item like on it. On. Oh, okay. Take okay, that item fine. off. I'll give, I'll give you the item. What That's is fine. the item? Hardstone. Oh. Oh, did we trade? Magic Carp. That was fast. Yeah. Yeah, it has the Hardstone <laughs> on it. Look at oh, there. Oh, cute. Look how beautiful he is. <laughs> it's kind of weird. <laughs> Why is it moving like that? <laughs> because it's not in water. It swims, okay? You leave Even it out if too it's long. in water, it'll do the same thing. I know, you're right. Uh, okay, well, if you have the rod... How do you transfer uh -huh. Poké Dollars again? Um, slash transfer. Okay. Space uh, name to me. Slash trans... Transfer... Space... Tilted wings... 5,000 Poké Dollars? Yeah. So I just put 5,000? Right. Yeah. Do you have the rod? Are you sure? Yeah, I have it on me right now. Done. Look at that. Ooh, free money. I don't have it. <laughs> free money. You know how much money I've been getting with this amulet uh, coin? I love it. Here you go. Sweet. Wait, what is this Nidorino? This is an old rod. This is not the one. Take it back. I want a refund. <laughs> okay, good. Super rod. You can add I, I, I was here. I was here. I, uh, I, I heard all about it. <laughs> he was the witness. I'm going to catch a Dratini uh, in your little pond, and I'm going to put it in your face. That's right. I now have a Super Rod. I think that was a pretty good deal. I mean, 5,000 Poké Dollars, that really isn't anything. I can get that back in one gym battle. Or gym battle? One uh, trainer battle. So, I'm going to be fishing for Vaporeon. Now, word on the street has it, and the word on the street is Fedrins. Um, Well, the Fletchling wants to fight me. Is that you can catch Vaporeons in river biomes... Using the super rod. What is it? A Vaporeon! Oh, man! But it's a male, unfortunately. But it's a Vaporeon. That's pretty good. Okay. That's cool. I'll take... Oh, not Latius, actually. I didn't want Latius to... No. They look the same, so I'm always, like, confused. I just want the Zangoose to, uh, to slash it a little bit. Okay, that's, that's fine. That's fine. He tried to use Last Resort. You gotta be kidding me. You better not use Last Resort. Hydro pump, okay. Now we'll do false swipe. Okay, he's in the red. Now somebody on the com somebody in the comments, a few people in the comments told me that as long as they're in the red, it's the same odds as if they're down to one HP. I don't know if I believe that, but let's go ahead and try it. I have uh, a bunch of balls with me. I made a bunch of dusk balls and a bunch of ultra balls. 
but I have dive balls, and I feel like that's probably the good one or the right one for the job. There we go. We caught Vaporeon. Ooh, that is nice. Wait a minute. What is that? That's not a Swirlix, is it? No, it's not. It's one of those Minchinos. Min oh, Sinchino. I guess that's the evolution. Okay, this is good. I feel like we're going to get a lot accomplished today. Heal status conditions. If it's raining, Hydro Pump Last Resort, Acid Armor, and Tail Whip. Brave Nature. Its speed is lowered as attack is raised. I don't think the nature is very good for its type, but that's okay. Um, let's keep... That guy keeps confusing me. Let's keep fishing for... Oh, I thought the fishing rod was gone. I was going to freak out. Now, apparently these things have um, durabilities, but I don't see a durability bar, so it kind of worries me a little bit. What do we got? A lantern. Not having it. This guy right here is actually going to be useful to me. So, another thing that... Oh, that, is that the same guy again? It's still the same guy. I should kill it. I should totally kill it. You know what, buddy? Can you just... Can you just get out of my face? Thank you. Apparently, you can lure Pokemon of, of biome-specific types. As far as I understand it, again, a discussion with Fedrin was had. Um, here's what you got to do. You got to find somebody with sweet scent, okay? Like Tropius. I was making fun. I mean, I wasn't making fun of Tropius. He's Letho's favorite, and he's the best. Um, and then you switch his ability and see at the top right-hand corner, he now, he now has sweet scent. If you push G... You get into an instant fight with things that spawn in the area. So you can run afterwards. Um, so that's kind of good. Can I? Can I? I think it's just a little bit of lag right now. Come on. There we go. So let's try Sweet Scent again. And hopefully we can lure a uh, Swir... What? <laughs> Hurry up. What? It's a male Eevee again. But it's an Eevee nonetheless. It it escaped? Really? Alright, fine. You want to play it the hard way? I'll bring out Zangief. He's going to give you that spinning arm move. <laughs> Who knows the, the spinning arm move I'm talking about. Oh, this is uh this is an interesting this is an interesting turn of events. Okay, that's cool. I found another male Eevee. That's uh That's cool. Huh. I captured Eevee. That's good. So technically, if I use this guy, the Tropius, and use Sweet Scent, a Whismur, I think I'm just going to fight everything with it. Whirlwind, Sweet Scent, Razor Leaf. Get out of here, Whismur. He gave me... Wow, Whismur drops gunpowder. Interesting. Okay, so I'm going to probably do this for a little while before I move to a flower forest because I know that the Swirlix spawns here. I've seen them here before. Um, oh! This is a Ninkata. Another Ninkata! Come on! The server for some reason today is extremely laggy. I'm not sure what's going on. Maybe somebody's out there exploring. Okay, I've caught another one of these already. This is a female... Did it not affect? I didn't I didn't read what it said. False swipe. There it is. Okay, good. Interesting. Oh, we're getting some rare spawns. I mean, the Ninkate is not super rare spawn, but it is a pretty rare spawn. I wish I knew the exact numbers. Definitely the Eevee is a rare spawn. The only thing we're missing now is a Turtwig. 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 People seem to be getting upset the way I say it. Mr. Mime? Mr. Mime? That's another spawn I don't see here very often. This is weird. Okay, Tropius. Let's try that again. An oddish. Okay, I'll just fight you and kill you. Oh, Terra. Look at this. It's a female Vaporeon. I am I'm set. I'm set. I'm still gonna try to catch the Sylveon though. Um I should go to I need to go to a um I guess it's supposed to spawn. See, if you look in the wiki, it says desert and desert hills biomes that it spawns at. But then you look at the spawn time and it says none. So I don't even know if uh, if it spawns there. Anyway, let's get Zangoose out here. It's going to hurt. It's going to hurt Zangoose a little bit. We're going to fall swipe it. One more fall. Ooh, Aurora Beam. Fall swipe again. Perfect. We have a female Vaporeon now. Finally. So will it give me an Eevee or will it give me a baby Vaporeon? 
I hope it gives me an Eevee. I don't even know anymore. Whatever. It doesn't matter. I'm, I'm catching it with a dive ball. And this better work, too. Because I like the blue balls. I'm the, the dive ball. Jesus. Perverts. Found a flower forest biome. That's almost like a tongue twister. Oh, there's something wrong with the legendary. Maybe it's the timer balls that are that are kind of messed up. Uh, let's get Torterra in there. I'm trying to level up tor Torts, John Tortorella over here. <laughs> Hockey reference for those of you who don't know. Uh, just so he can be like a regular participant in my uh, in my team, my everyday team, my my daily driver team. I like to call them. There's Heatwave. Scatterbug is gone. What did I win? Oh, an upgrade. That's for a Porygon or a Porygon Z or something. Uh, white wool and some string. Good. So inside this flower forest is a little pond. Now I don't know. I don't know. I feel like I should try the desert or something, but I'm going to try to get this Vaporeon. Oh, this is not the pond. This is the pond. It's deeper. This pond is a little bit deeper, like right there. So I'm hoping this works. That's a ball. <laughs> For some reason, I decided to throw Torterra right in that pond. Okay. Let's see what we catch first. Come on. What is first on the menu? A Dratini? Torterra. Well, that's good, too. Pokemon. Zangoose. Uh-oh, Zangoose is hurt. Ugh. False swipe. Good, good. Bag. Pokeballs. Dive ball. We caught a Dratini. That's awesome. Like, that is awesome. Ooh, I like this flower forest pond already. What's next on the menu? I seem to have gotten my signals crossed. I think I mentioned something about fishing for uh, for for uh, uh, Sylveon. No, we don't want to fish for the Sylveon. We want to actually use Sweet Scent. I used Sweet Scent and I found Flowet. <laughs> I don't exactly know how to say her name correctly. Uh, we're going to use Razor Leaf. Perfect. We're going to go into the bag of balls. We're going to get a Dusk Ball and we're going to catch Fla Flowet. Flowet. I'm going to go with Flowet. Sure. I don't know if this thing is any good, but I haven't seen one in the wild, so I'm definitely going to catch it. All right, what else can we catch out here? Oh, man, I really hope, really hope I get what I'm looking. Oh, there's the, there's the, the keys. That's like my least favorite Pokemon. It's just a set of keys floating around. It just seems really, really silly. Uh, but Beef, he's so powerful. You should totally catch it. It's one of the more powerful pokes in the game. I don't care. You hear me? I don't care. G, a uh, Sunkern. Again, one that I don't see too often, but I'm going to skip it. Yeah, it's gone. A uh, Swirlix. Hello, Swirlix. I was looking for you. Please give me your whipped dream. Ah, sugar. Dang it. For some reason, I had it in my mind that you could catch, you could lure a, uh, a Sylveon with sweet scent in a flower forest biome, but no. I had it confused. Let me set the record straight right now. Sylveon can be evolved from Eevee in a flower forest biome if the Eevee knows a fairy type move. So that's probably why I thought you can catch Sylveons. What is that thing? Oh, it's the stupid keys. <laughs> that's probably that's probably why I thought you could catch um let's put all these guys here. You could catch the Sylveon in a flower forest. It does say on the wiki that it spawns in a desert, so I might go ahead and try Sweet Scent in a desert or something and see what happens, but who knows. Illumise, I just caught. Fla Floet, I caught earlier. I have two Dratinis now, a male and a female. How about that, huh? Look at this. I got a couple Nin Ninkadas. Ninkadas. Ooh, I got a bunch of them now. Uh, for some reason, I'm obsessed with that Pokemon. These are my ongoing projects. Uh, I am really obsessed with that Pokemon. Now, wait a minute. Ha, this is, uh, this is prep. This is prep for the battle. Take a good look. Um, opponents. <laughs> I might end up using something completely different. This is actually stuff I'm experimenting with as well. Uh, I have each box has a purpose, I promise you. There's the Eevee. Male, two male Eevees, which is a little bit unfortunate. Uh, but we do have a female Vaporeon, so I'm pretty sure we can get... Yeah, these are all male. That's a, that's a Panseer. Did I show catching that one? Probably not. These are all male. Uh, and then we've got that. So I think you can still get... I think you can get um, an Eevee from a male and female. One of these guys. So we'll see. Uh, in the meantime, I should probably... Maybe I should try... Oh, there's so many things I want to try with this sweet scent. Hey, look at the Togetic. 
What level are you? 45. Much too high. There's a Mareep. There's a Cottony. I would really like to just sit here all day and try to find um, Swarlixes so I can get that whipped dream. But it's not going to happen. They, they seem to be few and far between. I don't know if it's worth it for me to even farm Swarlixes here or if it's just, yeah, Metapod. Because it seems like the common ones are more common using Sweet Scent as well. You know, there's a Savannah over there. Let me just... Who knows, right? Who knows what you can find? Uh, Beef, use Latius. He's faster. Okay, okay. There's the Savannah. Now the Swirlix. Whip Dream, Whip Dream. Oh, I saw something other than sugar and I got excited. I will take the sugar. I do not want... I'll take the Citrus Berry. Whatever. Not getting a whole lot of luck with the uh, Swirlixes, but there's an uncommon Gothica boss. Let's go ahead and burn it. Okay, here we go. Heat wave. She avoided the attack. Dang it. <laughs> there we go. Much better. Uh, she should be dead in a second. Okay, what did we get? A toxic orb and an ender pearl. Cool. I have so many of these toxic orbs, and I still don't even really know what they're used for. Not that I've looked into it or anything. Um. Oh. What is this guy? This guy looks interesting. A dust tox. Dust tox. That looks kind of cool, but I'm not going to catch it. Maybe one day I'll need it. But today is not that day. Let's try one more time. For oh no, I don't mean to. I don't mean to ride it. A metapod, terrible. I'm back home and I'm uh, I'm making things comfortable for my. Um, oh, let's try an ultra ball on the snivy. A snivy just walked up to me. He's an, he's another starter poke. Another starter poke just walked right up to me and wants to be captured. So that's what I'm doing. Um, I'm trying to make things comfortable for my EV breeding process. So this is what I've got so far. Not much. Um, so, my plan is to use wool and lily pads as their breeding grounds. Um, they have preferences. They each have... Or they Each type has different values and stuff that uh, are assigned as, like, the best value. Wool is not the best... Wait a minute. Wool... No. Wool is not the best value for normal types. Cake is the best value for normal types. However, I don't have the supplies to make all that cake. So, what I'm doing is I'm going to use wool, which has a... a a value of two. Uh, and then for the Vaporeon, I'm using uh, lily pads, which have a value of three. So hopefully they will feel comfortable enough to breed and make babies because that's the whole goal of this thing. You know what I realized? I have to actually stop the water from spilling out here. Here's my progress so far. It actually looks pretty cool. Um, I'm not sure if the lily pads need to be at this level or the block above it. That's the only thing I'm a little bit concerned about. Um, we're going to find out, I guess. Either way, the water still works uh, for Vaporeon, but not as well as lily pads. Actually, I think it's a value of one compared to the lily pads, a value of three. So I'd much rather the lily pads be the ones that are uh, activated, if you were... However, I don't know if that's going to be the case. We'll find out in a second. As long as they make the baby. I don't really care how long it takes. They just got to do it. How many more do I have here? One, two, three. Uh, we got a few more. All done. Man, is it laggy over here? This is, a, this, is a bad, this is a bad area. Spawn. Spawn town's a bad area. Okay, so let's take, let's take the lower level Eevee. And that's a male, right? And the female Vaporeon. And this one I'm actually going to take and I'm going to go... Um, Aha! Vaporeon's love for Eevee grows rapidly every day. Eevee is more attracted to Vaporeon every day. This is good. This is really, really good. This this thing actually looks really cool. I love it. Anyway, in the meantime, let me grab... Let me get these guys... Let me get my inventory sorted, first of all. But let me grab the other Eevee. And we're going to try to make... We're going to try to make a Sylveon today. Um, I think I know how. I think the happiness has to be really high, too, though. That's a problem. Uh, let's leave Tropius, or Tropius. I don't know how it's pronounced. Uh, we'll leave him here. We will put the EV here. I wonder if there is an item to increase happiness. There probably is. Oh, hi. I've got a guest in my basement. <laughs> Not the first time I said that today. Hey, it's a Swirlix right here. Look at that. They spawn. You know what? Maybe I'll take my Tropius and uh, and do stuff with it. <laughs> Slash. Please give me 
the whipped drink. Nope. Citrus berry and sugar. I don't even want any of it. The EV is out. Oh, it was out. Um, I'm trying to get its happiness up, so I'm not sure. On one hand, I've heard that it needs to have a specific happiness to get to to uh, evolve into uh, Sylveon. But on the other hand, it didn't mention anything about happiness. It's got a Soothe Bell on it that will raise its happiness or any events that will uh, will make it happier, like winning a battle and stuff. Or just having it out, which is wh what it's at or what it's doing right now. So the happiness is going up. In fact, it started at 70 and it is currently at 78. So I'll take that. I'll just go for a little walk with the EV here. Get it around 100. There's a far-fetched. Maybe spot a cool poke or two to catch. Um, but then we have to travel to a flower forest. And so it will level up into or it'll it'll uh, evolve into a Sylveon in a flower forest if it knows a fairy type move. I have a fairy TM. Dazzling Gleam. Can I actually teach it now? No, I can't teach it now. So how the heck... Maybe it needs to learn a fairy type move or something? Hmm. Let me just uh, read up on that again. In the meantime, I'm just going to keep walking um, this guy around town. It literally is a guy. I was going to say guy or girl, but no, it's uh, it's definitely a guy. So the Eevee actually learns a fairy move called Charm at level 29. So we don't even have to teach it anything. It's great. It already learned Bite, by the way. Let's go ahead and use Bite right now. Ooh. Ooh! You know, I should have used the stab attack. Yes, I know all about stab attacks. Thanks for all the comments. I really appreciate it. I'm not being sarcastic, even though that sounded like I was being sarcastic. I really do appreciate it. It's very helpful. And I try to remember all the tips you guys give me, but there's a lot of information. I think anybody who plays Pixelmon or Pokemon games will know that there is a lot of information, and I appreciate the patience. In the meantime, let's try to get this Eevee up to level 29. It's currently sitting at level 22. Its happiness is 86. Um, is a small growth, small little guy. Um, yeah, let's get it. I just don't, I don't, I'm not sure about the happiness yet. I, I really don't, I, I, but I'm trying to get it as high as possible before I try this thing. We'll know if it works or not, because if it doesn't evolve, then obviously we need to have a, a higher happiness. But if it does evolve, then yay, <laughs> we did it. Eevee has grown to level 29. Let me just, oh, there it is, charm. Okay, let's, uh, swift star-shaped razor shot at the opposing Pokemon. Never misses. Quick attack. Uh, I have but I have takedown as well, which is a, okay. I have another physical attack. Let's remove quick attack. I think because takedown is pretty powerful. Not that I'm ever gonna be using those. So now it knows charm. Uh, let's just finish off these guys here and get this money. Twenty one thousand four hundred forty Poke dollars. Yes, please. I'm supposed to be up to fifty nine thousand, and I've been buying stuff. So, whoa. Oh, come on, Esper. I was. Oh, oh, maybe. Boom. Takedown. Suck it, Esper. Perfect. Oh, wow. Ender Pearls. Nice. So, Eevee now knows a fairy type move. Eevee is also pretty happy. Pretty happy. Not super. I don't think the number that I remember was 200. I think it was something in the low 100s. And Eevee right now is 139. So, I think that's going to be good enough. Now, all we have to do is find a flower forest. Um, and I was just at one. I think I know exactly where it is. This guy, level 98. I don't know if we want to take that one on, Eevee. How about her? Level 72. Okay, Eevee, this is it. She's got a Geodude. I'm going to switch out again. She does know a Fairy-type move. Or it he he does know a Fairy-type move. And uh, he's pretty happy. So I'm hoping... Ouch, that hurt. I'm hoping this is it. On the battle. Eevee grown to level 30. It didn't work. Is the happiness too low? Hmm. Let's see. Let's see. We've got a nose charm. Ha happiness 139. Okay. This is definitely a flower forest. All right. Let's just get the happiness a little higher. Let's see if this is enough. Discard. No. So I looked it up, and all it says is that it has to have high happiness. It's happiness right now. I think the highest is 255. It's happiness right now is... 190 so i'm guessing it's gotta be maxed out um or at least over 200 here let's uh let's leave it out again i guess i can go search for some dittos or something while while it's out just running around i mean the savannah's right here might as well do that in the daytime make ourselves useful there's not too much in this flower forest that i need 
currently. I'm sure maybe eventually there will be something I need, but right now, let's just go searching for some dittos. Maybe this is the, this is it. I've had a couple of rare spawns today, the EV and and um I guess it was just the EV. Uh <laughs> um I guess it was just the EV, but yeah, maybe maybe today is the day. Where am I going right here? I need to go this way. I need to get into the savanna, not over Oh, that looks like a flatter part of savanna. Let's go over there, EV. Hey, it's a boss bonita. I'm actually, yeah, I might as well throw the EV out there. Let's do it. If it yeah, it's going to get some happiness if it levels anyway, right? Oh, it's at level 98. Wow. Uh, ooh. I guess Charizard. It's the closest I have to having a chance. Do we do... Let's do Dragon Claw. That didn't seem to help too much. Let's try Shadow Claw. That was also a problem. Let's try Slash. Normal type attack. Oh, we got it right down. And now we finish it off with another Slash. Beautiful. I've won the battle. I got another toxic orb. Sweet. <laughs> These things are so cool. Um, oh, don't forget to let Eevee out. Eevee's now over 200, by the way. 202. Um, okay, well, let's keep going. Maybe we'll find a ditto. Maybe the Eevee will lead me to dittos. If the Eevee leads me to a ditto, I well, I guess I'm kind of leading it. If the Eevee is, uh, accompanies me to a ditto, I am never failing you, Eevee. You will be my friend forever. Forever, I tells ya. Forever. He is at 204 happiness now and has leveled again and still nothing. Yeah, at this point, I really do think that uh, it's got to be at like max happiness, which is going to take some time. 205. <laughs> Wow, okay, 255 is the highest. That is going to take some time. Uh, we'll figure it out. Oh, I brought my E... Oh, I didn't mean to bring this with me. Oh, dang, this is... This is trouble. I better not lose that. In the meantime, let's get rid of some of this junk. And, uh, I guess we're in for a little bit of, uh, of... Oh, by the way, I, I actually found another Soothe Bell. Uh, one of the, one of the Pokemons <laughs> dropped it. So now I have two Soothe Bells on me. Yeah. Wait, does that say Soothe Bell? Yeah, okay. I thought it said something else for a second there. Um, all right. Well, it's nighttime, so um, I should have brought my computer with me. Then I could try to, like, chase some Swirlix, Swirlixes, Swirlixes or something. But no matter. Let's just uh, let's just explore. It's just me and you, Eevee. Is there a desert over here? I'd rather just go into a desert and just walk. Maybe we can find some Poke Loot or something. Speaking of Poke Loot, anything around here? No. Evie is leveled again. Uh, she's at 230-something. Oh, here we go. Oh, my goodness. Yes. I was not I was not uh, thinking this was going to happen. I thought for sure 255. She's at 2, th or he is at 233, I believe. <gasps> You're beautiful. You're light screen. A wondrous wall of light is put up to reduce damage from special attacks for five turns. I don't think I want that. But you know what? Takedown and Swift. It's not normal anymore. Uh, this attack never misses. You know what? I don't think I'll ever use light screen. Let's just skip it for now. <gasps> You're beautiful. Look at you. You did it. You did it. Oh, man. Level 33. You know what? While we're at it, I think I want to give... Does it learn... Hold on. I want to know if it learns uh, that TM that I was going to give uh, the EV. Let's see. What is it called? Dazzling Gleam. I think that's a pretty good attack. A pretty good fairy attack. So, I'm going to see if it learns it naturally. If not, I'm going to give it Dazzling Gleam. Because why not? It does not get Dazzling Gleam. However, should I use it on Sylveon? Because... Oh, the special attack is boosted. And I think that's a special attack... Yeah, it is. Okay, you know what? I think you're you're the perfect fit for this move. Boom. Here you go, Dazzling Gleam. Or, Sylveon. Uh, here's your Dazzling Gleam. Charm. Less worthy. This attack. Right, this is the one I had to learn earlier on. I don't think I'm ever going to use that. Let's replace that with Dazzling Gleam. And let's try to take on some... Uh, oh, he's a traitor. Giving Pokemon. Looking for Basculin. I don't want a Mincio or... Oh! Verizon has spawned in a forest hills biome. Verizian, not Verizon. Can you hear me now? Let's get this Marie. Let's uh, bring out Charizard. Hopefully we can survive that first attack. Yes, we can. And now we heat wave it. 
Ooh, Heat Wave it again. Perfect. Won the battle. We got Power Belt. We got a Rare Candy and a couple of Muttons. And I don't think we have a Forest Hills biome nearby. Let's take a quick look. You never know, guys. You never know. It could be, it could be our day. This is a Flower Forest. This is all Flower Forest. Us. Okay. Oh, man. Babs again. She got the last one, too. She's in a, she's in a sweet spot, apparently. Level 49, Dano. Dano? Is it? Whoa. What did I just see over there? Something popped up and popped back down. Right over here. That, by the way, is an awesome statue. Oh, what is this? Is there somebody here? I don't know. Oh, there's this guy, Haruyama. Okay, this is this is who I want to test on because he's a fighting type. Man, I keep seeing pokes. What are you? Oh, yeah, I've seen you before. And you're just a, pu a pupitar. Good. You. I'm testing on you. So, let's get Sylveon. He's level 40. We are level 34. Uh, we are going to use Dazzling Gleam. So his Belly Drum damaged him half the way and Dazzling Gleam damaged him the other half. I don't know what Belly Drum is, but it seems to me he should probably stop using it. I've won the battle. Take all. Now, we got to make sure it doesn't go over level uh, 35, only because I might use this for the, for, the, for the tournament if I decide... Hi there, Mario! If I decide to... Um, to use fairy types for the tournament. I've got a few options. Oh, there's another Hariyama up there. The Hariyamas are uh, are getting their butts kicked today. Where are you, where are you buddy? Yeah. Here. It's His hand is out as if to say, Stop! Don't attack me! I'm a friendly giant! But guess what? No, Oh, he's only level 22. No mercy for me! Dazzling Gleam. One shot at him. Beautiful. I'll take all those too. Is the fish sharp? These are steel, right? I think these are steel. Whoa, dude, that is a... Uh, yikes. Iron Defense. Dazzling Gleam. Did a little bit of damage there. More Iron Defense. More Dazzling Gleam. Critical hit. And another Dazzling Gleam. Level 52 Bisharp. Dead. I will take all that. And I'm still at level 34. What is his... Uh, or, yeah, his 1,000 oh, more HP. Okay, we can do this. Let's just get him up to... 35, and then we'll call it a day. And I f I'll feel like I accomplished something today. Also, all this junk has got to go. Sylveon has grown to level 35. Beautiful. So it's official. Sylveon is ready for battle, if I so choose. Sylveon? Are you sure you'd like to disable leveling? Yes. I know people keep telling me about, oh, you know, you can, you can enable something where all the... No, we want people to be careful. We want it to be difficult. We don't want people to go out and just catch anything at any level because that's kind of like, it's like a shortcut almost, you know? This way you have to be mindful of what you're catching. You got to be mindful of uh, its level. Ooh, what do you got there, Mario? That's okay. I wasn't spying on you. I promise. Get out of here, Sableye. We have an egg. Claim egg. Egg was sent to your PC. Oh, goodness. We have an egg. This is beautiful. There it is. Oh, it's gorgeous. Here, Sylveon, join your, your friends here in the fairy team, I guess. Summary. Uh, this guy is, is dark and psychic. Okay. and then We got some psychic options. We got some fairy options. Then we got psychic and fairy. Um, still not 100% sure that's what I'm going to be going with, but I'm pumped that I have an EV egg now. This is, look at that. Look at this flow. By the way, this is probably not a rare spawn because I caught like so many of them afterwards. Uh, we got two Dratinis. Got the Snivy. We're doing great. We're doing great. You know, we're, there's one person. <laughs> one person. One uh, poke that I really need to level up. And that is my Breedloom. Because it's going to be my. It's going to be the replacement to Zangoose. You know what? No, Zangoose still has False Swipe. I need to find a False Swipe TM. Anyway, guys. That's going to be it for this episode. I'm so happy I got the EVs to... What happened to these? What happened to these? Did somebody break those? I'm sure I... Maybe I didn't. Maybe I didn't. Let's just fix that before we go. I'll make sure that, uh, that gets fixed properly. They're in here. I need two. Two. Okay. Let's go back up. Uh-huh. Let's go into... And just jump over that little stool there. It's fine. Yeah, there's... Uh, looks like there was two missing. Oh. 
Oh, vandalism? Anyway, hope you guys enjoyed this episode. Whew, that was a lot of work to get that, that Sylveon. I hope it was worth it. And even if it sucks, it's okay. It's fine. I'm, I'm okay with that. See you in the next episode. Bye-bye.